In today's video, we check out North Wales' best market town, Denby. It's got a pretty amazing castle, some gorgeous shops and cafes. But does it have a great market? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Postcard in a Pint. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. Now let's get parked up. Easier said than done in Denby. Parking? Fine, literally. No machines took cards and we had no coins. You can pay via an app, but an app in Denby is as useful as a chocolate teapot. But we sorted it to town. It's looking quaint so far. Fact please, Rach. Did you know that Denby has got more listed buildings than any town in Wales? Thanks for that. Now before we got going, we were hungry. So stop for a bite to eat here. The food here at the Glass Onion was delicious, with everything being freshly prepared. We were now fueled and ready for... Oh yes, Wills found a record fair in the Market Hall. I got bored and wandered around outside. So what did you get, lad? I've just been to the record fair. Let me show you what I've bought. A bit of shaky. A bit of dodgy um, variety stuff. A bit of Elvis. A bit more shaky. A bit more shaky. And a bit of Guns N' Roses. I've got the shaky stuff already, but I couldn't leave it there for a quid each, could I? So uh, there we go. Top day. Great. More clutter. Outside the library is a statue of Sir Henry Morton Stanley. Dr Livingstone, I presume? No, it's me! There's a small museum inside, but to be honest, Will's just wanted a wee. Right, onwards to find the castle. Spoiler alert, Denby is very hilly. Ooh, what's this? Behind me is the Burgess Gate. This was once the main entrance to the town. Come on. This gate was built as part of the outer defences for Denby Castle between 1282 and 1294. Now it makes a very good birdhouse. Just outside the castle is St Hilary's Chapel, dating back to the 14th century. It was the town's original place of worship. Now just the tower and a small piece of wall remain. Rising above Denby on a rocky outcrop, this castle played a vital role in the wars that shaped Wales. You enter the castle through the magnificent Triple Tower Gatehouse. But it is not the first castle on this site. The Welsh actually had a fortification here at least as early as the 13th century, though nothing remains of it now. So when was this one built? Denby Castle and the town walls were built in 1282 on the order of King Edward I. Tickets are bought from the gift shop just inside the gatehouse. When we visited, it was £4.80 per adult. Once inside, you are presented with a really vast castle with absolutely stunning views over the Vale of Clwyd. Edward I gave the job of constructing the castle to Henry de Lacy, Earl of Lincoln, one of the King's most successful military leaders. There are information boards all around the site describing the different parts of the castle and detailing life back then. Now where are we off to, Rach? We're heading to the Poston Gate, the back entrance. Come on! There's probably a very rude joke in there somewhere, but I won't make it today. Basically, the Poston Gate defended the easily climbable cliffs at the rear of the castle. In 1294, the Welsh rose up and attacked Edward's castles. Can you imagine it? Edward, he's in his pad somewhere in England. It's November, his servants come in and go, them Welsh in Denby, kicking off again. They've been kicking off for years, we think they're going to take the castle. Edward goes, you know, get up there, sort it out. Takes them two weeks to get there, two days to sort it out, two weeks to get back, it's now December, sorted in time for Christmas. OK, so it was a bit more serious than that, but Edward certainly quelled the revolt of Madog Ap Llewellyn. We found our spiritual home here in the castle of Denby. We're now in the cellar where they kept the meat, the cheese, and more importantly, the wine. 
Here in the green chamber, there are some interesting carved corbels. There are a few to spot, including a lion, a maiden and an imp. There are impressive remnants of the great kitchen tower and the great hall. Take a look. Henry de Lacy died in 1311, his castle still incomplete. It is said that he lost heart in it and was devastated after his eldest son Edmund fell to his death down the castle well in an accident. Near the gatehouse, it's possible to walk upstairs to the upper level. The views from up here are incredible. Thanks, Denby Castle, for an amazing visit. You're a lesser known castle in Edward I's Iron Ring of Castles, but well worth checking out. Time to check out the walls, but first, the story of Leicester's Church. Leicester's Church is an unfinished church. In 1579, Robert Dudley, 1st Earl of Leicester and Baron of Denby planned this building to be a cathedral. He wanted to move the city status away from neighbouring St Asaph and make Denby a city. Sadly, he ran out of money. Poor old Robert died, the church went into ruins and Denby is still a town. It's a very pretty town though, Robert, so all was not lost. Now this is quite cool. We've actually got the key to the gate to walk the walls of the town. Unfortunately, that's the real key. But let's go have a look. Isn't this super exciting? We've got the town walls all to ourselves. Let's go explore. Yes, for a five pound deposit, you can pick up a key from either the library or castle and walk the one section of walls that's intact. As we said before, the walls date back to the 1200s and during this time, the entire town of Denby was situated within the walls. But in the War of the Roses, most of the old town was destroyed. And when it was rebuilt, was rebuilt in the area you see it today. The history and architecture is truly impressive. Although I'm not going to lie, one of my favourite aspects was nosing into all the posh houses and gardens as we went by. We'd walked in the woods before and seen the outside of these walls. We had no idea until this day that you could gain access to the walls and towers. Even though we don't live far away and we're by no means Denby experts, I would say if you come to Denby, do this. It's a five pound deposit, you get your money back. You get the wall all to yourself. It's so cool, loving this. Okay, I don't know how many keys there are, but on this day, it was just us and we loved it. See these holes in the wall up here? Cannonballs, apparently. If you saw our Halloween special last year, we told a spooky ghost story about the Goblin Tower of Denby Castle. But this is it. Remember Henry de Lacy's son who fell to his death down the well? It's said that his ghost haunts this tower. Ooh, Rachel's ghost busting. Hmm, no ghosts, just bloody litter. Makes my blood boil. Sadly, we couldn't get at it to move it. Right, back up we go. Why are there always so many steps? I am knackered. As we said before, Denby is a very hilly, steppy kind of town. Its town folk must be fit as fleas. Once you finish the walls, you lock the final gate and return the key to where you got it from. But do pull a stupid face first. Thanks! 
quick walk through the woods and up more hills to return the keys to the castle and get our deposit back. Then it was time to wander back through the old back streets and down into the town. As we said before, there are some beautiful old buildings and some gorgeous traditional shops. It was sad though to see so many empty units. This is the old High Cross. Town life once revolved around this cross. Men were hired for harvest here, as agreements made at religious monuments were legally binding. It's thought the lower part dates to the 15th century. Oh no! Thank God it was shot. Denby's High Street is situated on yet another hill. It has some cool buildings though. At the bottom of Vale Street is the Dr Evan Pearce Memorial. He was a Welsh scientist who fought the cholera epidemic in Denby, was advisor to Queen Victoria and was Mayor of Denby five times. This is Theatre Tumanant, named after the Welsh dramatist and poet who once resided in Denby. Denby once had a railway. It closed in 1962 and all that remains now of the station are sections of the platform's edge. Right back up the hill. Honestly, Denby folk, I don't know how you do it. Will's got distracted by this door. We don't know who Thomas G was, but the door was green. And if that's good enough for Shaken Stevens, well. Admiring yet more old buildings, we went in search of another spooky place. We spotted Queen Victoria on the British Legion building. I thought we'd got away with it, but no, Wills can find Santa anywhere. This is the old prison built in 1843. It had six cells to contain the criminals of Denby. This is the old Scala Cinema. It opened in 1928 and showed films nightly. In 1966, it was taken over by the Wedgwood Cinema Group, who renamed it The Wedgwood. It closed in 1980. It was then taken over by Lewis Colwell and run by Peter Moore, who operated a few more cinemas in the area. Turns out, he was Wales' worst serial killer, and he murdered four gay men in 1995 and was convicted for life in 1996. Over to Wills. Now I've got a bit of a Peter Moore story. He also used to run a cinema near to where I used to live in a place called Bagalt. And I think he used to know my mum and he used to help out with the charity or just before she started the charity, giving uh, kids free tickets to cinema films or something like that anyway. But I remember chatting to him one night. We talked about The Exorcist. And I think it was before The Exorcist had general release. I remember thinking, what a nice chap. Turns out he wasn't really, was he? Not the best judge of character, are Wills? OK, let's fast forward. It's now a few weeks into the future and Rach has taken one for the team and come back to Denby, in the pouring rain I might add, to check out the market. After all, Denby was named as North Wales' best market town. There it is. I'm excited. How many stalls do you reckon there are? Three. Vic the Vinyl looks like he's just forgotten to go home from the record fair. Brenda's raided a local charity shop and is selling all manner of tat for a quid. And then there's Val the Veg, selling her seasonal produce. All in all, it was the saddest market I've ever seen. And brilliant though Denby is in so many ways, its market is rubbish. I was making a curry that day, so bought this for a quid. Cheers. Right, back in time, just outside Denby, is this. Behind me is the North Wales Hospital, or what's left of it, also known as the Denby Asylum, or if you're a kid of the 80s like me and Wills, it was known as the Denby Nuthouse. Not very PC, but that's kids for you. Let's find out some more about its history. It was built between 1844 and 1848 and was initially a hospital for up to 200 people with psychiatric illness. Back then, insanity was treated by such methods as bloodletting and flagellation to disperse a person's inner demons. Although the intent to be a more humane treatment centre, the Lunacy Act of 1890 and poor funding did turn it into more of a workhouse. It's now a target for ghost hunters. So that's Denby. What did we think? Is it North Wales' best market town? Let's find out. Well, I liked it. The article I read, which said that Denby was the best market town and Mould was the second best, did say it was the work-life balance between living in Mould and living in Denby. I must say, Denby has got a far better castle. It does, yeah. It wins there. Denby has got the town walls. That's a win there. 
Denby is on a hill. No. That's not a win. That's not a win. Mold got a bit of a hill, but Denby, oh my god, up and down, up and down, up and down all the time. Mold's got a better market. Mold's got a far better market. That was really funny. I was soaking wet. Three little stores. And the reason Rachel went back to it a couple of weeks later, well, a week or so later, is because it's only on on a Wednesday? On the first Wednesday of every month. So I waited till the next Wednesday, absolutely chucking it down, got soaked, and what did I get? three stalls. But yeah, Mold definitely wins on the market. It might be better on another yeah. day. But maybe the people in Denby are happier. Maybe. They have a nicer and less stressful life than the people of Mold. Personally for me, I'm going to go Mold because it's nearest us and it's not on a hill. But that's what I think. Okay, I okay. hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, would you click the like button please? Yeah, yeah. Hit the button. Yeah, would you subscribe to the channel and leave us a lovely comment? We love to chat. We do indeed. So as we say, in postcard and a pint, Cheers, Cheers to, to the, the good, good times! times. Last time we were in Denby, we went to the Postcard Museum. There was nothing to write home about. Uh.